and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna make a gourmet burger with black truffles so let me give you the ingredients for uh, the ingredients I'm gonna use two pounds of uh, ground beef black angus you can use any kind of meat you can substitute pork chicken uh, turkey anything venison you name it so for my ingredients I'm gonna use two whole eggs that's gonna be for my meat four garlic cloves chopped onion or shallots this is a quarter of an onion parsley or cilantro or fresh herbs you can use either or it's depending on what kind of burger you're gonna use but the ingredients is gonna be the same then two quail eggs and we're gonna need some salt pepper to taste for my meat that's the ingredients for the meat mustard it's gonna be about one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce same thing about one tablespoon uh, this seasoning is gonna be about same one tablespoon. I'm gonna use some uh, truffle oil, about one tablespoon also. Salt pepper we say. I'm gonna use some of the black truffle sauce or cream. One cup of uh, panko. You can use any kind of bread. Uh, you can do breadcrumbs. You can do uh, saltines, all bread. Also, we're gonna need some uh, Parmesan cheese. And then, also I'm gonna make my garnish here too. So, I have some uh, baby portabelos, about six, seven portabelos, and then I'm just gonna cut it like that. Some uh, white peach mushrooms. So they're like this. They come like this in bunches. And I'm just gonna shred them like this. So, one bunch of each. And also, I'm gonna make a caramelized uh, red onion so I'm gonna need some uh, bacon about six pieces of bacon then cut it in half some uh, sugar you can uh, use a honey if you like and as you make your burgers you have to do fries too so I'm gonna make a uh, truffle fries so as you can see it's a lot of ingredients but we're making a good meat burger so it's gonna be a uh, garnish the meat the whole thing so let me give you the steps so for our ingredients the for the meat we're gonna put everything in here so basically it's just gonna be everything together and we're gonna combine the whole thing so herbs truffle sauce as much as, as you want so I got about two tablespoons in here some uh, truffle oil tablespoon or so Worcestershire sauce as much as you want two tablespoons that would be fine the season Maggie same thing one tablespoon or so then salt pepper to taste the mustard same thing you can add as much as you want so I'm gonna put te two tablespoons, and then we're gonna add the eggs. Well, I'm gonna uh, combine everything first, <clears throat> and then we're gonna come back and add the eggs and the bread. Right. So after you have your meat already combined, now we're gonna add the eggs, the breadcrumbs and parmesan cheese as much as you want so it should be fine same thing we're gonna start mixing our meat again and from here now you're gonna start making your uh, shapes your patties so you can make it as big as you want you can make the little ones you can make meatballs also from here meatloaf same procedure and then you have your meat for your meatloaf stuffing. You know you can use it for a lot of multi purposes. If you wanted to stuff vegetables, you know also same thing, same ingredients. And you can smell the truffles. <clears throat> so now you're just gonna make your patties. And what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab a bowl with water. So that way it's easy for me to roll the meat. I'm gonna come back. So after you have your meat, 
I'm gonna use the water so I can shape them and restaurant size burgers you can weigh it out if you want but you know it's gonna be up to you it's about 18 ounces half a pound and then you can freeze them if you want you know you can make them ahead and then uh, you can freeze them and store them for later use so it's gonna be up to you and I'm gonna have my grill preheated already or charcoal whatever you want to use so I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then we're gonna come back and start making our garnish in the meantime I'm gonna render the head of the bacon and also get my bacon crispy we're gonna have two pans one for the onions one for the mushrooms so what I want to do is get the flavor the fat of the bacon so I'm gonna come back when my bacon is ready and then start making my uh, side dishes okay, so I'll, you're gonna take out your bacon just it up as much as you want then at the same time we're gonna caramelize the onions so we're gonna leave it there and also the same thing with the mushroom you realize the bacon fat and we're going to caramelize the mushroom so we're going to cook it for about i would say five minutes or so same thing with the mushroom We're not gonna season it right now. We're gonna wait until they're nice and uh, crispy. I'm gonna come back when this is done and show you the next step. I'm gonna add a little dash of truffle oil. Mm. How pepper to taste now. want to make it more nice here, more uh, expensive, you can deglaze with wine, uh, red wine, white wine, brandy, cognac, beer, anything you want. Or just leave it like they are plain. That's going to be optional. So, I got some bourbon. We're going to have some, uh, one shot of bourbon. And then we're going to flame. When you're gonna flame, make sure that you not pour the alcohol directly to the pan on the fire. So you take your pan out, pour your alcohol, and then bring it in. So that was just a little shot. So let the alcohol evaporate. This is done. Put them on the side. Same thing with the onion. As you see, it didn't put any sugar at all, so you can add sugar if you want. So that's the difference when you're uh, doing just natural caramelization and when you add sugar. So it's just gonna a little bit of sugar, and then you can do the same thing: deglaze with white wine, red wine, beer. Uh, alcohol hardly because it's gonna be up to you so I'm gonna come back and add a little red wine to this and we finish we're gonna place this with our red wine let the wine evaporate this is done you got your spoon and we got a fry portion so we're gonna start making our hamburgers and also I'm gonna finish it with the essence for the potato truffle fries. You can see, you can uh, freeze them if you want or just like this. So we're gonna put them in the grill. We're gonna cook them, uh, you know, medium, temperature medium, but you're gonna, the temperature is gonna be up to you. So we're not gonna start, you know, moving it around. Just let it cook for two minutes in each side. Make sure it's uh, not too high on the flame. So that way you don't have a burn burger. Okay. So now you do your grill marks if you want. Okay. 
them, let them cook, and then you flip them over. So we're gonna let them cook for about five minutes or so, and then we'll come back and finish them. So as you can see, you know, I have my burgers already flipping it. And it's just gonna keep uh, cooking them in a low heat. And then uh, we're gonna come back and uh, start plating. Right now the toppings, you can always add, you know, whatever you want. So we're gonna make some with um, caramelized onion. Mushrooms. And if you wanna add some cheese, I got some provolone. So we're just gonna let it melt a little bit. And the rest, we're gonna fin uh, finish them inside with the uh, quail leg and the truffles. And now we're just gonna finish our burger. I'm gonna add some of a uh, fried quail leg with the um, duck fat. And we're just gonna lightly pan fry it. Salt, pepper to taste. And as you can see, you don't want it running, right, Anton? So we have our pan, <clears throat> and then we got the caramelized onions, mushrooms, provolone, and you can assemble it however you want. You want a lettuce? Please go ahead and do it. You want heirloom tomatoes? Why not? BOT, the bottom, with made meat, and then we're gonna add some sliced truffles. Okay, and that's gonna help us to finish our good meat hamburger. And then you're gonna put your quail leg. Mine, I don't like it too runny, so that's why I break it like that. So that's gonna be up to you. And then on the mayo, you can put it, you know, it's gonna be up to you. Just gonna spray with some uh, loaf, finish it, skewer it, or leave it like that. You can cut it, I have mine on uh, the other side over here. With some of the truffle fries, same thing. Uh, gourmet hot dogs, same thing. So hopefully you guys like this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Chef Alex Perez on Facebook, Chef Alex Perez on YouTube. Share my videos, follow me on Instagram, Chef Alex Perez 34. And I'm already mouth watering. And enjoy. Stay safe, my people. Thank you. Enjoy.